And when he was born, they had to airlift him to the IWK. I found out that they didn't think he was even going to make the flight. And they uh, then identified that he probably had what's called spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia congenita. When I got to the IWK, I stayed right beside him the whole time. And you start thinking about all the little things you're going to miss. The thought of never being able to hold his hand and walk across the street, uh, never taking him to the duck pond, never taking him the first day of school. We brought in a cake and gave all the nurses cake and brought presents every month. And I said I was going to celebrate every month that I had him. How could this guy that was so sick and had been in the neonatal unit for over two years, I think, have come out to be such a vital, active, bright young guy? Spencer was in the neonatal unit at the hospital when I first saw him, and they'd asked me to see him about a cleft of his palate, which had been a minor problem that they'd noticed compared to some of the problems that Spencer had had. Spencer's condition is a rather complex one. He has a congenital, he's born with a condition where his long bones uh, aren't growing. The type of dwarfism he has is associated with um, some instability of his neck, that his neck can move back and forth further. The treatment for this requires a surgical intervention, and the neurosurgeons are typically uh, the prime movers in this case, and the orthopedic surgeon take bone and support the area, so you basically fuse or stiffen that upper area of the spine. You used to like stickers, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you want some for old time's sake? Or are you too big now? Not sure. Oh, okay, good. For old time's sake. For old time's sake, excellent. <laughs> I treat him just like a normal friend, and he treats me like a normal one. It's it's really great. There's some perks to it, you know, like the elevator and stuff. All right, so we haven't got any more food. <laughs> Uh, I've got a buddy over here, we all. He's a good friend of all of ours, Spencer McKay, right? Hey, Spencer. Hey. But this is what's new with Spencer. Let's show everybody at home there. Let's look. That is what's new with Spencer. Look, look at that. Holy man. You always want to provide excellent care for children like Spencer. They've already been through so much. If you read over his history and you know what he's been through, in his case, we did have to take him to the operating room a few times to do treatment for him. You've got neurosurgery, but then that would knock off one. We've got six doctor's appointments next week. So. Wow, that's a busy day. It's a privilege for me, and it's an inspiration for me to meet these families who just can go through everything they've gone through and still be smiling and positive and happy at the end of the day. In the Maritimes, we are the, the regional centre, and we have all the specialists here. Uh, it hasn't always been the IWK. Initially, it was the Halifax Children's Hospital when it was first uh, opened. And it's been the only pediatric hospital uh, east of Montreal in Canada since uh, forever. Before I had a sick child, I didn't realize the importance of a hospital for kids. It doesn't hit home to you until you've actually had a child who's had to stay there. Spencer was in there for almost two years, and I lived in that hospital, and I became family. I became, you know, just a part of the fixture. I certainly would love to say, without a doubt, that I appreciate from my total heart the IWK and the Children's Miracle Network. This is the biggest eye-opener to me of how important these organizations are and how much they do for the families as well as the sick children. He's very good for uh, people in the waiting room. When they see Spencer and seeing uh, his engagement with them and his attitude, a lot of people will, will come in thinking they have serious problems and say, man, I saw that guy out there and I really don't think I should be here. Humor makes us laugh. Humor brings us up. Humor is why we're still happy, you know? If we just sat around and thought about all the sad things and never laughed, and where do you think we would be now? Depressed. So, so he has a way of disarming them and, uh, and putting in perspective uh, some of the conditions that we see. <laughs>